The story might get super confusing, so I just want to say that because there's things that I thought were true that weren't true, etc. So when me and her first started talking, she told me that she was married, but she was married for financial reasons and that they were in an open marriage and that her wife didn't even live with her. Her wife was living with her partner, her, like her other partner that she was in a relationship with. So. I thought that was like hectic. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was like, that's pretty hectic. An open marriage. Okay, everyone does their own thing. Like her wife is in a whole ass other relationship. So Erica said that she can do what she wants. And I never really understood it. I tried to like understand it more and talk more about it. But Erica would always like, just be like, me and my wife ha have an understanding. That was always her like go-to was me and my wife have an understanding with each other. So she didn't want to explain that understanding to me. I didn't understand it, but I didn't think that Erica and I would get to the level that we got to because her and I did just stay friends for a while. You guys know me. I move really fucking fast. Um, that's just how like my heart works, but it was different with Erica because it was just like a constant, super flirty friendship. Um, but something I did notice is that she was always there for me. Like I am not going to lie. I was single. So I talked to a few different people. That is true. She named some of them. It is what it is. So, um, Erica was always there for me and our feelings did start to grow for one another and i could tell like it started to upset her when i would talk about these other people and she would always say how she was on the back burner and how i wasn't giving her a chance and how i always had her at arm's length like i am not one to show screenshots but i'm telling you i have not deleted a single text message that her and i have exchanged i have not deleted a single instagram message nothing so, um, I'm trying really hard not to read the chat so I don't get distracted, but like, I can't help it. <laughs> um, so yeah, she was just, she was just like, she would express like how her feelings for me are getting deeper and deeper. So there was one night in particular where I did get drunk. I did. And I was actually on the phone with Alexis and I was messaging Erica and I told Erica that I loved her. This was like in December. And that was like the first time that I ever said it, which was freaking crazy because like the whole time it really was just like a super flirty friendship. But I realized like, wow, Erica really likes me and she wants me to like give her a chance. Like, I, I don't know. It felt nice knowing that like she was patient and she knew I was talking to like other girls and like she was still there for me and like she always wanted to call me and like I would never answer her calls. Like it very much was like I was putting everyone else before her, but like she was always there. She was always, it, it made me realize like, wow, this girl really cares for me. And everything I thought, like I, I genuinely thought that everything she was telling me was 100% truth. Like, yes, sometimes my intuition and my gut was screaming and it was on fire and all of that. So, you know, I guess there was a part of me that was like, Amberlynn, like something's off, something's off. But like, I was ignoring it. You guys, in one of my recent videos, I told you guys, like, I ignore red flags. <laughs> I've... I have a bad habit of it. Um, sometimes I turn those red flags into pink little hearts, little pink heart flags. That's just like what I do. And I don't know why I'm like that. Um, so anyways, it was like in December when I told Erica for the first time that I loved her and I was drunk when I said it, <laughs> like, but it opened up a whole other freaking thing for Erica and I, because of that one moment. And I do want to make it clear that in Erica's story, she said that we stopped talking for a little bit 
literally the only reason why we stopped talking is because she got mad at me because I actually started communicating more frequently with another girl. And she got upset about that. That's the only reason why we stopped talking and was literally only for a few days. And then she came back. Like, I don't understand. I wasn't the one who messaged her after those few days of her just being like, I'm done. I'd like, she came back to me a few times, just saying, um, I'm not trying to be cocky, but she literally couldn't get enough. And she completely downplayed the relationship that we created. So back to what I was saying. Once I said, I love you in December, things did change. We started to talk more. I actually started to answer her phone calls. Um, we would, I don't know. I just felt like more comfortable with her. Things became more sexual. Brittany and Erica said that they messaged me as a troll in the beginning. So Brittany is supposed to be a therapist. They watched me for what, over five years. They knew my mental health. They knew my mental state. They knew who I was. They knew that I had BPD. They knew these things and a therapist still chose to troll me. What is that? Like that is like, I feel like being glossed over and it's just wrong. Like what kind of a therapist would do that to someone? Like regardless of how much you like them or dislike them or even hate them. Like it's, it's odd to me and I'm not understanding it. I don't even know if I fully believe that it started as a troll. I don't know, maybe it did, but the fact is Erica fell in love with me. Erica was going to move in with me and she is downplaying everything that happened, especially after February 14th, when she asked me to be her girlfriend. And that goes into like, how our relationship changed once we actually became girlfriends. Um, we formed a routine where she would call me every single morning while her wife was at work. And she did that because I, I, was, al I was always questioning, why can't you tell your wife about me if you're in an open relationship? Like, I don't understand. That was another thing in my brain and in my gut and in my intuition where I was like, something doesn't seem right. So I would always ask like, why can't you tell her about me? And she's like, I just don't want to hear it. Like, I just don't want to hear what Brittany's going to say about me being with Amberlynn. Da, da, da. And then I, I understood it made sense because I was like, okay, because you guys used to hate watch me. So you don't want Brittany to make fun of you. I totally get it. I did feel ashamed. I mean, I did feel ashamed. I felt like she felt ashamed of me, but I accepted it for what it is. Call me desperate, call me lame. I don't even care. But she always had the right answers to every single thing that I asked her. And it made me believe her and it made me stay. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Okay. Um, so Erica and I formed a routine. Every single morning, she would call me and we would talk for hours. And during those conversations, during those phone calls, this is gonna be TMI, but this is when our relationship got extremely sexual. Uh, I'm telling you, we would have video sex. What are, I don't know what you guys want to call it, but it was crazy. Oh, it was a lot. It was daily. On top of that, she was sending me um, sexual videos and photos. I was sending her sexual videos and photos. We were getting very close in that way. And it was on top of... Um, like, I love you and I can see myself being with you forever. Like you make me so happy. Like you are my world. Like you are my baby. I am obsessed with you. Like it was very much that she was giving me everything I wanted to hear. It, it, it was a lot of, did you put a spell on me? I haven't felt this way in over a decade. It was always like over a decade, over a decade ago over a decade ago, because she would always compare to me to one of her past lovers who was also a Capricorn. Um, 
So she would always compare me to this other girl. And she would always she would always tell me Capricorns break hearts. Capricorns are heartbreakers. Like she would always Anyways. So, um when I realized Erica, you have some fucking explaining to do is one of one oh my god, this is so embarrassing. So, one of the videos that Erica sent me that was a sexual video. And I want to say I will never do revenge porn, like threaten to show that stuff. I heard that Brittany, a therapist, a therapist, my dad, is threatening to show those things of me. Go for it. Go for it. Like show my tit. I don't give a fuck, but I will never in my life do that to somebody. That's disgusting. Wholeheartedly. You won't see me doing that. Never. That's wild that you would even like bring that up. Like, are you trying to scare me? I will say every photo and video that I ever sent Erica, I'm confident in and I'm happy with. So do what you want with it, but know there are consequences. I will say that. So it is what it is. Um, back to what I was saying. So once I realized like Erica, like I, I like, I know you're lying and I think it's time that you like, tell me what it is. Tell me what's really going on. So Erica would always give me this spiel of they don't kiss. They don't hug. They don't cuddle. They don't have sex. They don't do anything. Yes. They're in this open marriage, but they're pretty much just like best friends. That's what she gives me. That's what she was giving me. That's what she was telling me. And that's what I was believing. But again, my gut was like, mm. So during one of the um, videos that she sent me of her touching herself, I saw her wife's slipper in her foot right next to Erica. I'm telling you like touching her leg while Erica was touching herself. And I was like, let me rewatch this video. And I had to like zoom in. I had to like, I was, I was shook. You guys don't even know. Like my heart dropped. When Erica sent me that video and I saw like that she was doing that, like right next to her wife, like um, it was like, <laughs> that's when I was like, we need to like actually have a discussion. We need to really have a discussion, discussion, discussion. So we actually made a plan of Erica was going to allow me to ask her anything because she wanted to reveal the truth about everything. And she said, you know what? Fine, I'll do it. And I'm like, okay. And Erica was so worried with whatever I was going to find out that I was going to leave her and all this stuff that literally one day at work, she was freaking out and she ended up leaving work. She was crying. Like I have never seen Erica cry. Like you guys, I'm sure you guys have seen her. Like she's this like muscly, like situation type deal. So I, it shocked me. I'm not gonna lie. So I was like, fuck, like this must be like actually kind of serious what she was about to tell me. And it kind of freaked me out. So we had it planned and we had the conversation. The first question, the first question I asked her was, are you and your wife actually in an open marriage? Or if she finds out that you have a whole ass girlfriend, is she going to feel betrayed? And she said, I'm actually not in an open relationship. I have an actual real marriage, et cetera, et cetera. So she told me the truth about everything. And this was... So me and Erica first started talking in September. Didn't even know she was actually married until I'll say like a month later, maybe two, not really sure on the timeline there. But I didn't even find out that like, it was a real true marriage until months after, like I would say like two months after we started dating. So I would say maybe April, I would say. April, May, somewhere around there. She was in a whole ass relationship with me, like lying to me 
and telling me all these things like me and my wife don't have sex like we're not like that at all together but i found out that that wasn't true because when we were on video call i saw proof behind her that her and her wife were intimate it's just like it was just like so many things and i just kept like letting it happen and i look back now and i'm like i'm the fool i'm straight up the fool i'm embarrassed i feel stupid like it's just a it's literally a lot and um i don't know so it was around everything by the way erica's such a fucking liar about I was slowly pulling back from her and she would just like, she just wouldn't leave me alone. It's like, block me, block me. Stop calling me, stop messaging me. What do you mean? I wouldn't stop leaving you alone. <sighs> She's trying so hard to save her marriage that it's like, it's insane to me. Trying very hard. I get it. You don't want to lose her because you have cheated so many freaking times it's not even funny and she still stays with you Brittany. you deserve better you deserve someone better like you're a therapist what would you tell one of your patients that is in a freaking marriage and their partner continuously cheats on them you deserve better i'm amberlyn reed and erica fell for me me like that has to like that has to suck. Like y'all started it as a troll and it ended up being to the point where Erica was going to move in with me, but she was telling me that she was going to write her wife a note, tell her like, this sounds psycho. This sounds psycho. It really does. I guess we're both crazy, truly. And I'm here to just like, be like, I fucked up because I did. Like, I genuinely know that I did. Uh, okay, we don't. you can ignore the part where I said I'm in love. Just ignore that part. Just know that like, I am still with Tommy and um, there, there's just been a lot of things that like aren't true that have been said. And I just wanna be the one to like set it straight because I feel like that's important. And I know like a lot of people aren't gonna, believe a word that I say and that's fine like I fully get it people will believe what they want to believe and I'm not gonna lie to you like we were we were gonna break up without a doubt that was gonna happen um but it's like we genuinely make each other happy um so it's like why break up when you're when you genuinely like love someone um you need to stop worrying about what others think and do you live your life because the haters just want you miserable do what makes you happy you grown woman yes i fully am in support of that i'm gonna do what i want i genuinely am gonna do what i want but like i want to like shout it to the rooftops that like i genuinely am happy with tommy and um, the rumors are not true at all. And like, I don't know how else to like explain that. And I promise I'm not like in danger. That's not a thing. You guys know that like I have been trying to lose weight and I actually have been. Like I weighed my lowest that I've weighed in like eight years. 467 folks. 467 like that's i i literally was like okay like pop off um which rumors are not true tommy is not a feeder at all and i got permission to share like why certain photos were online so when tommy was with her late fiance they were long distance and they wanted to see each other more often and to do so they found a way to like make money and um 
it was never like out of like a like ill intent type of thing um and i know a lot of people are gonna think that and still continue to assume that and that's i i can't change anyone's opinion i can only sit here and tell you the truth that's all i can do um like it was just a way for them to make money it wasn't something they did in their like alone time like if that makes sense um no i didn't lie like we genuinely were going to break up like that was like the truth um it felt really heavy and scary for the both of us um it's just been a hard time like for people to be saying that Tommy is a person that like, she's literally not that person. She's one of the greatest people I've ever known. And I will stand by that. Like I genuinely have never felt so like loved and comfortable with someone ever, ever. And I want to be able to like stick up for her and stick up for like our love because it's important to me. And you guys don't have to believe anything that I'm saying, which is fine, but like, I'm happy. And I have never felt so like seen by somebody and it just feels really good. Um, <clears throat> for so long, I felt like I was with people who were like ashamed of me and like hiding me and it did not feel good at all. Yes, me and Tommy are together. No, she's not moving in. Um, the picks were because they were trying to make money because they were long distance because it's really expensive to constantly like visit each other. So they were like, okay, let's do this as a way to make money. And it makes sense. Yeah, flights and stuff like add up a lot. And um, I saw proof. I've seen proof of it all. Proof of it all. Um, like, I understand where you guys are coming from. Like, I'm not going to sit here and, like, deny that. Like, when you see something like that, you're like, I get it. I get it. 